All right, so we talked before about how, uh, remember, I think we did triangle, it was probably triangle PIT, where we had this one triangle that looked like this, but then there was also this other possible triangle that came back like this. And how did we know which triangle was which? How do we know whether we should have the big triangle or the small triangle? And how can we find both? Well, that's what we're looking at today. This is the side-side angle ambiguous case, our donkey postulate, if you will. And when we're doing side-side angle, we could have three different possibilities. We could have a single solution that works. We could have no possible solution. And we could have two potential solutions as well. Now, when does this happen? Well, first of all, we're guaranteed to have a single solution, and at most, if we have a right triangle or an obtuse triangle because you can't end up getting more solutions that way. If the angle that we were given to begin with is acute, then we could have issues. We could have two triangles, we could have just one that works, or it's possible still that none of them will work. Uh, we will have absolutely no solution if, as you're solving, you'll get that sign of the angle that we need is bigger than one. That's just, you'll get an error message in your calculator, it cannot happen, that means that the triangle does not exist. And then for number three, I'll explain what this means in a minute, but check, we're going to take an angle, subtract it from 180, and see if we can still have a second valid triangle. So let's do one and see what we can do. First one right here with this triangle, we already kind of have it set up. Um, sine of 42 over 22, because that's we know both pieces of A. We know side B, we need to find angle B. We'll say that 12 sine of 42 degrees is going to equal 22 sine of B. When we solve that you're going to get, you'll have to divide both sides by 22. And that leaves that sine of B would be equal to this value right here. And when we uh, take the inverse sign, we should get that angle B equals 21.4 degrees. As you would go through the problem, you would then find angle C. You would subtract 180 minus 42 from the original, minus the 21.4. You would get angle C is 116.6 degrees. You would find then your last side. We now know what angle C is, so we can find what side C is. Sine of 116.6 over side C would equal sine of 42 for side A, or, a, or angle A, divided by side A, 22. When you go through that, cross multiply like we've done before, you should get C equals 29.4. Now, that's what we've been doing, no issue. However, there is a second value possible for angle B. I'm going to call it B prime. Your calculator only tells you a answer for sine in quadrant one. Well, we could also have positive sign values in quadrant two as well. So to find that second value that the calculator doesn't tell you, you just need to do 180 degrees minus whatever your angle was, whatever B was. So in this case, 180 minus 21.4, and in this case, it's going to equal 159.6 degrees. Now, if this is, if it's possible to have a legal second triangle, What's going to happen is, I'm going to add 159.6 degrees that I just found for, for the B prime. I'm going to add it with my original 42 degrees from the triangle over here. When I do that, in this case, I'm going to get about 201.6 degrees. Can I have a triangle that has 201.6 degrees in it? No, absolutely not. So, in this case, only one triangle is possible. In our second example here that we're going to look at, a second triangle is possible. What we're going to have, we're going to set it up the same way. We start the exact same way and find first that we're going to do uh, sine of 31 degrees over 29 will equal sine of B over side B, which is 46. Cross multiply, you end up getting uh, sine B times 29 equals 46 sine 31. What you will end up doing, you should get sine B equals something. You do the inverse operation, the inverse sine, and you'll get angle B will equal 54.8 degrees. Find angle C as 94.2 degrees, and I'll leave this to exercise for you, but you'll set it up the same way as in the last example. 
and you should get, I'm sorry, not angle C, that should have been angle A, and then you'll get here that side A should have been uh, 50, should have been 56.2. So we were given in the problem, we were given that angle C was 31. We were given that side C was 29, and side B was 46. We found then the rest of this. We found 56.2. We found the 94.2 degrees. We found this 54.8. If there's a second triangle, these three pieces of information to start with will still be there, the exact same way. We need to see if there's a difference for the rest of it. Again, to do that, we first look at what would my second possible answer be? What would my second possible angle measurement be? So I've got to do 180 minus whatever angle B was, 54.8 degrees. When I do that, I find that it would be 125.2 degrees. Can I now have a legitimate triangle? So I would do 125.2 degrees plus my original, my original 31 degrees, and I'm going to get 154.2 degrees. Is it possible to have a triangle with angles measuring this much and I have another angle left? Yes, absolutely it is. So to find my last triangle, my last angle, I'll call it C prime, or I'm sorry, again, A prime here in this problem, I need to do 180 minus 125.2 minus 31. And when I do that, I'll find that angle A in this case is 23.8 degrees. So now I know angle A, 23.8 degrees. I know angle B, which was 125.2 degrees. I need to find then side A in the end, and I do it the same way I've done before. Sine of 23.8 over side A is going to equal sine of 31 degrees over uh, 29 here. When I solve, I should end up getting that A equals 22.7. Just like that. I'll give you one more example for you to look at if you would like to give one a try on your own and check your answers. What we have here for the last one is in this setup, we're given the same thing. We're given angle A, 20.5 degrees. We're given side A is 12, B is 31. Same over here, 12, 31, and 20.5 degrees. And I will give you the answers for you to be able to check and see if you got them right. You should get angle B is 64.8 degrees, angle C is 94.7 degrees, side C 34.2. If you try the second way, you will get valid triangles, 115.2 degrees, you get 44.3 degrees, and this should be 29.9 for side C. And that's how you work on finding multiple triangles using trigonometry, using the donkey postulate of side, side, and.